What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner lesson on how to play New Year's Day by Taylor Swift. And I'm also gonna have a link to some free gear as well as a full written walkthrough for this lesson linked right up here. The first thing you wanna know to play New Year's Day on guitar is that we're gonna be in standard tuning and we will not be using a capo. The next thing you wanna know for New Year's Day is the five chords we're gonna use to play this song. The first one is C. The next one is A minor. The next one is F. The next one is G, and the last one is E minor. And I'm gonna have chord charts for all of these in the comments below, as well as an alternate way to play that F chord for those beginners out there. We're gonna start with the verse, and for the verse what we're gonna do is we're gonna do C, and we're gonna do three down strums for that, and then we're gonna go to A minor, and we're gonna go three down strums for that, and then this part's a little bit tricky, we're gonna go to G for two down strums, and then we're gonna go to F for one down strum. And that G to F transition is pretty quick. So I'm gonna do it kind of slow first, and then I'm gonna do it a little bit closer to full speed. And then a little bit closer to full speed will look about like this. The next part we're going to go over is the chorus. Now this is going to be the first chorus because the second, third, and fourth choruses in this song are actually played a little bit differently. So this is just the first chorus. Our chords are going to be C, A minor, F, and back to C. And we're just going to do single down strums for all of those for the first chorus. Chorus. Like I said, it's going to change later, so this is just for the first chorus. So that about full speed will look like this. From there we go to verse 2, which is exactly the same as verse 1, and then we're going to go straight into the second chorus. Now the second chorus, this is where it changes up a little bit. It's actually the same exact chorus chords as before, but what we're going to do this time is we're going to pick through. Now if you don't know what picking through is, it's basically you play the chord and you're going to pick through the chord. It's pretty much what it sounds like. So there's a few ways that you can do this. The one that I thought that sounded the best is you're going to pick your bass note which is your lowest note of your chord, and then you're gonna pick your D string, and then you're gonna pick your high E, and then you're gonna pick your B string for each chord, and then you're gonna change chords. Now all of the rest of the picking for this song is gonna follow about that pattern, or that's what I'm gonna do. You guys can mess around with it and see if you find something that you like better, but that's what I thought sounded pretty good. So again, our chord progression for the chorus is gonna be C, A minor, F, and back to C. And it's going to be the same as before, but all of the choruses from this point on are going to be picked. So that will look about like this full speed. And guys, the very last thing we need to go over is the bridge. Now there's a bridge in the middle of the song and then there's a bridge at the very end of the song and they're gonna be both played the same way. So they're a little bit tricky, not too terribly hard. This is another thing where we're gonna use that same picking pattern that we were using before, but our chords are gonna change a little bit. So for the bridge, our first chord progression, we're gonna have a four chord progression that's gonna go A minor, E minor, F, and then G and we're gonna play through that one once, and we're gonna pick through that one. From there, we're gonna to go to this chord progression, C, A minor, F, and G, still picking through that, and we're gonna play through that one six times. And then our last chord progression for the bridge is gonna be the same as the first one, A minor, E minor, F, G. And we're going to do that one time, and that's going to lead us back into the last chorus. So I know that's a little bit confusing, guys. Rewind that. Write it down if you need to. I'll try to maybe leave a little bit of notes in the comments and also in that written walkthrough I was telling you about because it's a lot to remember. It's not terribly hard. It's just a lot to remember. So one time playing through all of that together is going to look about like this.
And guys, that's everything that you need to know to play New Year's Day by Taylor Swift. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below, or you can also check out that full written walkthrough I was telling you about that may answer any questions that you have. Guys, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button right now. I have about 380 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons per week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, this is the perfect channel for you to check out. Also, if you're interested in learning any more Taylor Swift songs or any more of the Reputation album, I have about 30 Taylor Swift songs, and I think about six or seven of those are from the new album Reputation. So I have about half of the album already with lessons, and I have a lot more on the way for the new album. So if you love learning Taylor Swift songs, that's another great reason to subscribe. Guys, I love this song. It's beautiful. It's one of those that's just Taylor and her instrument, and that's the Taylor that I love. Those are the Taylor Swift songs that I listen to nonstop. I love it. It's kind of a little bit of the old Taylor. So guys, I hope you have as much fun learning this as I did. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see y'all very soon.